Okay, this is the third video uh, in the playlist uh, that is focused on uh, photoelectron spectroscopy. And again, this is uh, a technology that is um, utilized uh, to analyze the electronic structure of, of an atom, as well as it has other applications too, but I, I'm these videos are going to strictly focus on the application that deals with electronic structure. All right. And I've gone through the theory uh, pretty much on the last two videos. And so on this one, what I want to do now is focus on uh, how this is being used to analyze period four elements. In the, in the last video, uh, we did the PES scan of scandium. And uh, when we did that, we saw that what you um, actually see there for its electron configuration is that it's um, 4s PES peak um, is actually higher in potential energy than the the uh, 3d peak that has a single electron in it so the 3d1 shell is actually lower in energy than the, than the 4s shell in scandium that has two electrons and um, if you stop to think about this for a minute, more than likely your uh, AP Chem teacher or your university professor in general chemistry has probably already pointed out to you that when a, a period four transition element, transition metal, ionizes, that it ionizes preferentially out of the 4S subshell. And the PES is actually um, giving us a way of wrapping our minds around that. So. Um, to, to illustrate this point, um, what we're going to do now is sketch the PES for um, vanadium. Okay, and vanadium has 23 electrons. If we utilize the standard method for the electron configuration, which I have written here, then its configuration would be uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, that's 18 electrons. And then we would have 4s2, that's 20. And so there will be three electrons in the 3D shell. And this would be the way that you would represent their electron configuration uh, on a piece of paper. Now, let's take a look and see what the PES looks like. So again, I'm going to sketch the um, scan. On the vertical axis, I'm just going to label this as number of electrons. Um, the vertical axis will represent proportionately the numbers of electrons that that up appear in the peaks and then on the horizontal uh, axis we're going to have ionization energy and um, the viewer needs to remember that a couple things I guess ionization energy is the energy required to remove an electron from a particular uh, location on the atom and secondly it's equal in magnitude but opposite in sign to the uh, potential energy of that electron so what we see for vanadium is there's going to be a peak for the 1s that has two electrons in it. There will be a peak for the 2s and then one for the 2p and there's six electrons in there. And then we'll have uh, a peak for the 3s2, a peak for the 3p6, which it, my artwork is not perfect. These two peaks are, are, are supposed to be the same. All right. Now after the 3p, normally if you look at the configuration, you would be expecting to see a peak for the 4s2 followed by a peak for the 3d. But in fact, what we see is a peak like this representing or proportional to three electrons and then my 4s2 peak. So we're gonna have uh, two. This is should be six. This is approximately three. We'll label. This is the one s, the two s, the two p, the three s, the three p. Whoops. Three p. All right, and then this is my three d, with three electrons and my 4s2. The 4s2 being higher in potential energy. I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and label that. So this peak is 
higher in potential energy all right and it is lower in ionization energy so you can see from the PES scan that that the result that that is understood that it is it, it that that period four elements preferentially, uh, preferentially ionize out of the, out of the uh, 4s shell. Now you can see why. It's because this shell, in actuality, um, is higher in energy than the 3d uh, than the 3d3 um, electrons. These are these we say are lower in energy. So it actually takes more ionization energy to ionize one of these three electrons than it does the 4s2 electrons. That, that are in the 4S uh, subshell. Now, what I want to do is skip all the way across that period uh, to Krypton. All right, and Krypton has got 36 electrons. And instead of writing the whole configuration out, what I'm going to do is start with the three. So it's going to be 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D10, 4p6. So this is the, the way that you would normally write this configuration for the way that the periodic table is laid out. All right. Now, if we look at the PES scan, whoops. Let's see if I can get a straighter line out of that. Okay, so again, this is number of electrons. And down here we have ionization uh, energy increasing to the left. All right, and for, I'm going to change the color here, for the um, Krypton peaks. We'll have one for the 1s, and then we're going to have one for the 2s. And uh, okay, I guess I'm going to do them all. And then the 2p, 3s, 3p. Now, here's where things get interesting. We're going to have our 3d down here. All right, and then out here we're going to have a peak. Whoops, we need to shorten that one up a little bit. Uh, yeah, right about in there. So we'll have a peak here that's going to be equivalent to these other P's. So this is, these peaks are two. These peaks are six. This guy up here is ten. So going through and labeling, all right, this is going to be my 1s, my 2s, my 2p, my 3s, my 3p, my 3d. Look what happened when the 3d was completely filled. This 3d peak has shifted down. All right, and then up here we've got my 4s and my 4p. This happens to be 4p6. 